More March Madness from a national perspective with a Hoosier tie. His former Indiana Pacers face and voice are synonymous with college basketball, in particular the NCAA tournament. Bill Benner has more in this week's Inside Indiana Sports. Bill. Gary, thanks. Well, we first knew Clark Kellogg as an All-American at Ohio State, later as an Indiana Pacer, and then after his career was cut short because of injury, a member of the Pacers broadcast team. But the nation knows him as a talented, colorful, and insightful longtime analyst for CBS Sports, and we're delighted to welcome to him to offer his perspective on this most unusual of seasons which is coming to a conclusion. Clarks, thanks so much for making time to join us. Bill, an absolute pleasure. Glad to, glad to be able to jump on with you and very much looking forward to this last lap of what's been an amazing um, two weeks of March Madness. Well, and before we get to that, I, I want to ask you briefly your reaction to the Indiana University hiring of Mike Woodson, longtime uh, NBA career as a player, and co head coach and assistant, and now taking the reins of Bloomington. Just what, what's your take on that, Clark? Well, I feel really good for Mike, excited for Indiana basketball. He's a high-quality guy. He's a local. Uh, he's an Indianapolis native. Uh, he's had a tremendous resume in the game, both as a player and coach. I know he has great feelings for his alma mater. So I think it's a great fit and excited for Mike because I think he'll do an outstanding job. You know, you see peers of yours move forward in different avenues and paths in life basketball connects us and I've gotten to know Woody a little bit outside of the game and he's just a high quality high character guy who has a tremendous pedigree in basketball and I think it's a really good move for Indiana to bring one of their own back into that position. Well, Clark, let's now let's talk about the Final Four. We're, we're, we've made it. Uh, it's been, you know, they played all the games in Indiana uh, because of the COVID restrictions, uh, but we've made it through to this point. Uh, yeah. Just just your impressions uh, of the tournament and how it's unfolded. Man, I tell you what, Bill, if you would have told me back in November when we were getting started with college basketball that we would play upwards of 80% of the games during the regular season and then just have one mishap during the NCAA tournament in the one location there regionally in Indiana and in the city of Indianapolis primarily, I would have been thrilled. I would have been turning backwards flips and doing whatever I could to celebrate. And we're here now on the cusp of finishing things off. And, man, an exciting Final Four. But, yeah, I think it's been phenomenal. All of the sacrifice and work that's been done by so many of the players, the coaches, other Tier 1 folks, uh, clearly the NCAA, um, the city of Indianapolis and the state of Indiana. I mean, there's just so many folks that you want to direct the officials. I mean, other than um, a, a, a few that had to be sent home due to a positive COVID test before the tournament started, they've been remarkable in their availability and being able to be there for the thousands of games. So just um, kudos to everybody. Great sacrifice and commitment displayed. And um, now we'll, we're, we're on the cusp of crowning the champion, but uh, remarkable um, fantastic job by everybody involved. Uh, Gonzaga trying to make history as the first unbeaten since Indiana in 76. Gonzaga, uh, uh, Baylor, Houston, and the other bracket, and the first four to the final four, UCLA. So this is, uh, again, it's a, it's a really strong, strong final four. Well, I think all final fours have a unique flavor of strength to them, but clearly you think about the story of Gonzaga, and I do think, Bill, they will, in fact, be the first undefeated champion since 1976. They don't have any discernible weaknesses. UCLA has been a remarkable Cinderella story, although its pedigree and history indicates it's one of the great brands in college basketball. And then Baylor and Houston, a battle of Texas. I love the way the Baylor guards play, but I think Gonzaga is going to be too much for UCLA and whoever comes out of that game on the other side. Well, Clark, we certainly appreciate you being on the show, taking time out, uh, and, and we look forward, of course, to seeing you in your studio analyst role with CBS over the weekend. Welcome back to Indiana. You're, you are, you're one of our favorites, and we, uh, we're so happy with your success. So thanks for being on Thank the Thank you very much, Bill. Yeah, great to be here, and, and always a pleasure to, to get back to Indy whenever I can. Thanks so much for having me. All right. Clark Kellogg, thanks, and Gary, back to you.